So on B, it says find the limit as x is approaching 3 from the right of 1 over x minus 3. So let's think of a couple things that we know that's going on here. This is a rational function. This has a discontinuity, right? So we need to understand, is that discontinuity an asymptote or a whole? Well, if it's a whole, it's removable. There's nothing I can do to really remove that x minus 3 from the denominator, right? So that is an asymptote, right? OK. Now, um, since, we're since we're identifying the limit from the, from the right, we want to see, can we get a little bit more descriptive of where the, where the actual value is going? Because um, we know the value is going to be an asymptote, which would be undefined. But we want to see, what direction are we going? So does anybody know what type of function that is? Do you guys remember what we called that? Reciprocal function, which is one of our 12 basic functions. So it is fully expected that you guys can graph this without having to plug them into your calculator and graph it. If you do plug it into your calculator, just make sure, especially a graphing calculator, make sure you guys use parentheses for your denominator. Okay? Otherwise, you're going to get something. You're going to get 1 over x minus 3. Or that's what your calculator would graph. But anyways, here's our function. We're approaching 3 from the right. So our right hand, and you can see this graph is approaching. Keep on going up. So it's going to approach infinity. If I was to change this to the left hand limit, we would put the answer of negative 50. If I didn't have a left or right hand, I just said the general limit, then we'd say does not exist, right? Because you have to approach some other hand. OK? So basic, basic graphs. Make sure I highly recommend reviewing them, guys. It's way faster for you guys to know the graphs than it is to plug them into your calculator.